Hey guys, Cube Hamster here, and welcome back to Minecraft Pocket Edition or Minecraft Windows 10 Edition. I've been getting spammed with people requesting uh, to build some missiles uh, for Pocket Edition and the Windows 10 Edition. Uh, so that is what I have done. I've got two missile designs that you'll probably find very interesting. Uh, starting off with this one over here, uh, which is a kind of like a little bit similar to the um, to the Tomahawk. Um, it's it's slower though, and that's mainly due to the fact that pistons are generally just on the on the slow side on the Pocket Edition. And as far as I've heard from the developers, that is unfortunately not going to change. But anyways, the way this thing works is the moment that uh, this thing hit the wall, this redstone block will uh, trigger this TNT, and actually some TNT will fall, and it will like propel some of the TNT forward, doing quite a bit of damage. Um, and this other missile is actually uh, it's quite interesting. It's, uh, it's kind of like a, uh, uh, a bunker buster missile, uh, but it, instead of just flying through uh, the, uh, the, like a wall, it can fly through a six thick wall. Uh, at some point it will actually get stuck and then uh, TNT will trigger uh, in the back. There's actually a redstone block there that will move underneath. And I'm hoping we will be able to see it. There we go, you see the TNT got triggered. And now hopefully that will completely destroy like the entire wall and anything beyond it. Um, so that's two designs. Uh, if you're interested, stay tuned because I'm gonna show you how to build them. Okay, so let's get building. Now, unlike popular belief, building TNT slime block missiles is actually not a rocket science. Uh, it is very doable and um, very fun to do, and I'm hoping that showing you how to build these two missiles will inspire you to come up with some of your own designs, uh, because I'll be explaining the basic principles uh, behind the missiles that I'm making. Um, anyway, so what we're going to start out with is by building a tiny flying machine, uh, the, the smallest possible in uh, Pocket Edition. It's actually smaller than the smallest that you can make on uh, uh, the PC version. Um, when it's contracted, it's like two by two by two, which is really cool. Uh, the idea is that we'll have a uh, sticky piston next to an observer block, and I have to place the observer block like this. And we'll extend it, and this, um, you know, observer block will activate the sticky piston, which will pull in this piston and slime block, and it will put that, that piston next to this redstone block, which will cause it to extend, and extending will trigger the observer block, and you kind of get a you know repetition going. Now, that is the first component of a TNT missile is always the engine. Um, and then the second component is the triggered mechanism slash payload. Kind of like, those are kind of like uh, one thing. And if you don't want a payload and just the trigger mechanism, you know. It's kind of the same thing. Uh, anyway, so what we will do in this case, uh, this is completely different than how I would do it on, um, you know, PC version. And well, we can use observer blocks to make a uh, very compact, like, push mechanism for the uh, uh, for the payload and trigger mechanism. So we have two pistons, and these, whenever this like flying machine pushes this segment forward, uh, it will extend uh, both these pistons. Now, the piston on the, on the bottom is going to be pushing a, uh, a redstone block. Um, and while I would love to have, you know, more TNT, I'm actually forced to use glass here just because I don't want any, uh, you know, TNT right next to redstone blocks. And it tends to cause some issues. Um, up here, this other piston uh, will be pushing uh, some TNT. I have to actually put a glass block here because of, you know, reasons. Um, and some more TNT and some more TNT. Now, if we go here, uh, we will actually uh, put a slime block to add a little bit more TNT, and then finally a TNT block here. Now, the principle behind this missile and behind most missiles is, there's other ways to do this as well, but this one is very common, is you have two pistons or two segments that are pushing, that are being pushed by separate pistons, um, and what will happen, one of the segments, and one of the pistons, is going to be jammed before the other when this thing hits a wall. In this case, the piston at the bottom here, this 
pushes this segment all the way up to the front. When this hits a, you know, a big enough wall, it will get jammed. Uh, but the other piston is still free to push. And what that means is that what will happen is, as a car hitting a wall, you kind of get like a crumpet zone or like a wrinkle zone. I don't know the English word for it. Um, but what will happen is that this redstone block will actually, you know, shift one to the left, seeing as this thing is collapsing. Uh, but the top part is still pushing forward, which will basically put this redstone block right underneath the TNT. And once that triggers, all the other TNT will ignite and you'll get a nice, you know, kind of forward explosion. Um, anyways, if you want to start this thing up, uh, we kind of just power this piston. And as soon as we unpower this, this thing will start flying. And just to show that uh, this thing actually works, we just make it fly into a, an obsidian block and you'll be very clearly be able to see, uh, you know, the wrinkle zone thing that I was talking about. And this TNT on the other side actually falls down as well. And, you know, you get a nice explosion and I'm sorry about the horse. <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, that's the uh, tomahawk. Okay, next up the bunker buster. It's a little bit different, uh, but uses you know similar principles as the previous missile. Um, what we're going to do is we are going to have a piston here and the engine. So we're starting out with is going to be a little bit different, um, whereas. Instead of it being too wide, the engine will actually be uh, one wide. Um, we'll have a observer block in the back here. And we'll have an observer block here. I'm actually going to put an obsidian block in between for a moment, just because it will make things easier to start up later. Uh, but the idea is that uh, whenever, whenever this thing activates, it will... You know, pull in, pull in this block and the piston and this thing, and that will trigger this observer block, which will then push it, and it's kind of like the same uh, sequence of the other, as the other thing. Um, but we're actually going to put another piston down here, and this will make for a very um, kind of like slender uh, like trigger mechanism, whereas the way we will stop it now is uh, this thing is meant for thick walls. And whenever this slime block goes next to a wall, uh, it will jam the uh, the thing. Um, let's actually let's grab a redstone block it's here. So this is the, uh, the trigger redstone block. And these two things will kind of move in sync. So there's not really any issue there. Um, what we'll do here now is we actually have um, some. Uh, well, this is thinking now how we should do this. Uh, let's actually put an observer block here uh, because what I want to do is I want to create the uh, sort of tunnel pushing mechanism, and I'm probably doing it a little bit different compared to like my original design, uh, but it doesn't really matter as much. Anyway, so we can put TNT there and TNT here and here. Um, like if you're just interested in a very compact missile, this would actually already do. Uh, so this is a even more compact missile than the previous design. Um, but to make things interesting, we add four observer blocks and then four pistons. And then we'll add a hell of a lot of TNT. And like six on this one. Um, so now this TNT is literally just a payload and this thing can go through a, a six thick wall now. Uh, if you wanted to go to a seven thick wall, you just remove these blocks. If you wanted to go to an eight thick wall, you move these blocks and you kind of like keep going like that. Um, the way you know the maximum number of blocks you can go through, you look at these longest segment, uh, which is, you know, six blocks. And the max number of blocks that can be pushed by a piston is 12. So 12 minus 6 means that that 6 is the thickest wall we can go through. And 6 minus 5 is 7 block thick. So that kind of is how you know uh, how much you can get away with. Um, as for launching this missile, as soon as we uh, pull in and unpower this piston, 
uh, this thing will start flying. And whenever you know this thing flies into a solid wall, it will explode. But by actually more interesting, in my opinion, is uh, when this like thing in the back, this slime lock here, whenever that gets stuck, it will actually trigger uh, you know TNT there, and that TNT will then explode everything, and you get this massive explosion. So guys, that's the bunker buster. Um, I uh, I'm hoping that sh me showing these uh, missiles kind of inspires you to make your own stuff, like I said before. And uh, yeah, that was the video. Hope you enjoyed. If, uh, if you're watching my channel for the first time, be sure to subscribe. And uh, if you liked, be sure to leave a like on the video. And hopefully, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye, guys. Raw.